Okay, that's correct. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? That's great. <coughs> Hello, Asin. How are you doing? Okay. Is you can I present by uh... Yes, you can of course present, but not now, I see. In uh, the today's Tuesday, the second session. I get the English project and the social. Yeah. Well, we'll start first with the social. Today we will continue the social at the first, and then the second one will start from the language. Part. Okay. So, once again, we're speaking about advocacy here. So, if you can remember, we have first started by how to get the campaign off the ground. We have spoken about advocacy, and that advocacy means when you have a problem, when you have something that is very harmful or affecting both you or your society or even the environment or the people surrounding you, then you need to take a stand. And while taking this stand, you are taking a stand against some specific people. Those people may be a governmental uh, officials, okay? They can be some businesses, they can be your school, or even any other large institution. So we are using advocacy in order to make some campaigns. When some of these people try to make any harmful situation, the situation may affect both you, your company, your environment, your community, the people living in your country. Consequently, and even sometimes we can make it in order to make a change for the people in the world. Like, for example, uh, like uh, we are in 2021, so uh, there was a gathering approximately seven, uh, seven or ten years ago. It was speaking about uh, by the year 2015, none, none of the students in the world will be uh, uneducated. Unfortunately, up till now, we still have 15 million kids who are not uneducated in the world. So, we can make a campaign in order to help all of those students, in order to pressure their environment, their government, to make them learn and give them the good opportunity for learning. So, that's advocacy in this case, because we are making a campaign all over the globe, but not only in our community. And uh, while speaking about our campaign, we have spoken also about uh, some very, very, very important things while seeking it out. But the first thing was uh, the rightness of your cause, meaning that uh, your cause, the one you are speaking about, must be a rightness one. Like when we are speaking right now about uh, old kids in the world shall have a proper education. Okay? Or while speaking about uh, the uh, for station, okay, or uh, the problem of certification. So we're speaking about some very severe and harmful problems that can affect our own society. So the rightness of your cause, that's the first thing, and the power of your advocates, your allies. We are speaking about the kids, so we will start together the media, uh, some celebrities, we will bring them in our campaign. So we will bring some allies who are very powerful and very effective that can get us to our point and succeed. Okay? And also thinking about the problem and the skills needing and above all our strategies. So we have already spoken about all of this two weeks ago, if you can. Remember? I hope that you still remember. Last week we have spoken about uh, the rightness of uh, our 
cause and also we have spoken about the survival skill for athletes. Can you remember the survival skills we've spoken about? And the survival skills we have spoken about uh, accentuate uh, the positive. We have spoken about how to emphasize uh, the values of our organization, uh, the plans uh, for very small wins, uh, presenting the issues uh, in the way uh, that we see it uh, so that others can see the problem from our own perspective, uh, developing uh, the public identity, checking uh, our facts, uh, and also keeping it simple and uh, being passionate and persistent and being ready to compromise and after all opportunistic opportunistic to take any opportunity in front of you to make a small win and always must be stay on the right track and look for the good in others anyone who you think he is bad there is some good in him so just look for good in others and must keep our eyes on the final price and uh, make our uh, local problem relevant to, to the issue and all of all and later we must enjoy ourselves so we have spoken about all of this last time and if you did not attend with me you can just uh, review the uh, record so Today we are speaking about uh, the third strategy or the third step of our campaign, which is uh, understanding the issue. While speaking about understanding the issue, we must answer for the main four questions, which are uh, what is involved in understanding the issue, okay? And put in your mind, this issue must be relevant uh, to a harmful situation for both you, your environment, your community, the people, even to many people in the world, like global warming. Okay, so understanding the issue and that issue must be relevant to those things. Number two, we'll speak also about why would you need a thorough understanding of your issue Number three, what sort of research is involved in order to solve that issue? And last but not least, what are the best sources of information that we can get? To answer these four questions, number one, what's involved in understanding the issue? Hussein, can you read, please? Yes, dear. You probably already have a good idea about why your issue is important. You, you probably also know something about its history and what brought the situation about. That's great, but before you face the world in a big time or even small time, as book as a company, you will need to be armed with quite a lot of extra knowledge about the background of your issue as well as the way it affects the community. Okay, so simply we're speaking about uh, what's involved in understanding the issue. So I'll give you two examples, all right? The first, ex and I need to put your, uh, those examples in your mind because we're gonna use them until the end of the course. So the first one, let's suppose that uh, a chemical factory is being uh, constructed in Riyadh, okay? And this chemical factory will uh, just throw its waste in uh, the environment around us. Consequently, its waste will uh, affect us all, right? It's chemical factory. So making some chemicals and by throwing its waste into the environment, uh, later it will affect all of us. It will affect the environment. It will affect uh, the temperature. It will affect the climate. It will affect uh, the plants, it will affect everything. They can become poisonous, and later we ourselves can become poisonous. Okay? So, if we are uh, going to stop, okay, and doing nothing about that factory, finally, it's gonna harm us 
So consequently, we need to take stand, right? Number two, the one I gave you in uh, the first of the session uh, about the kids all around the world. So uh, approximately 15 million kids all around the world do not have a proper chance for uh, quality education. So we need to take a stand in order to help those kids. While speaking about those two problems, we need to understand how harmful the situation is. Again, we need to understand how harmful this situation is. This issue, what are the bad effects of it? And after recognizing those bad effects, we will have the opportunity and the ability to just gather all the information around that issue and start facing it one by one or step by step. Okay, so for the factory that's being constructed or held in real, so all we need to do is just to know that this factory will affect all the people in real and we will become poisonous, we will be hurt, things are going to be very bad for us, and later, what shall we do? So we need to take a stand, make our advocacy campaign, and stop that factory from being constructed. Okay, so we need first to involve in understanding the issue. So after understanding all aspects about uh, your problem, you can have your whole plan uh, arranged in order to launch your uh, advocacy campaign. Okay, and question number two, why do you need that through understanding for your issue? Of course, in order to have understanding, we have many, many reasons that uh, can give us uh, an idea about uh, why we need to understand the issue. And of course, uh, number one, you'll need to have arguments at your uh, fingertips uh, that can convince uh, your member that uh, the issue is important and keep them uh, fired up. So, at the first one, while speaking about the advocacy campaign, we said that you must gather your allies, okay? Because you cannot make that campaign alone. If that can, uh, factory is being constructed, you alone cannot stop it, right? Of course, if they're willing to do, stop it, uh, who the heck are you? Go away from here. You have no right to do that. Uh, and perhaps the police come arresting you. Yet, once I have my allies with me, and a lot of people are gathering it, so we are making a scene right now. We are making a campaign right now. So we need first to, I'm the one who's telling you about the problem, so I need to understand the whole issue in order to convince you to join my campaign. So I need to tell you about the harm, the harmful uh, things that uh, uh, this factory is making, about the waste it throws in our environment, and how all of that is going to affect us later very badly. Consequently, we just need to stop it. So, I need always to keep you fired up, meaning that to give you the stamina, the ability in order to continue in our campaign. You will need also to persuade your allies to join you. Of course, you have spoken about persuasion. If you can see, all of them are connected. So, we need to give a persuasion for our allies, meaning that to be capable of uh, let them uh, see the problem from our own perspective. For example, for, uh, I'm telling you that the factory is uh, very harmful. So you come tell me, oh, what are you talking about? If it was factory, the government would have never accepted its construction, right? So we come again, and I'll just try to tell you. Okay, the government have accepted its construction. Yet, it's going to throw its waste in the environment. Those waste in 10 years are going to be poisonous. So, what are we going to do in 10 years? Perhaps they just fooled the government and provided them with false evidence. So, but we know. We have the ability now and we know the problem, we know the issue. So, we need to join. So, after persuading your own allies, they will join. And also, we need to know why your opponents are taking the side they take. Okay, 
like the factory. Why are they building the factory? Although that it's very, very harmful to the environment. So we just need to find reason. And once you find the cause, once you find the reason, you can fight that reason. And of course, the reason is money. Usually it's concerning money, unfortunately. For the next step with research, you will know better what needs to be done to correct a situation. So if we just need some quick research, some uh, quick work on the internet or lion by asking people we will have enough ideas and enough background information which can help us in our campaign and also we will uh, know which strategic style is likely to work best remember when uh, we spoke about the skills we said that uh, you must have uh, strategy and tactics by obtaining both, you will be able to launch the campaign. So once again, in order to organize the understanding for the issue, we need to have specific steps and specific strategies and style in order to face that issue. Later also, we will speak about when and if the dispute becomes public. So, if the factory is now uh, uh, trying to bribe us, giving us money in order to stop our campaign, then we must bring that uh, to the public opinion and, and tell them, see, they are trying to give us money to stop our campaign. And all of this just to construct their uh, uh, factory. Of course, the factory is very bad. Consequently, they are trying to pay us money to stop uh, so you need to take a stand in YouTube and bring the public opinion along with your campaign. And always we must be ready with facts at any time that you are challenging by your opinion, uh, opponent. Because you must know this, your opponent will never just uh, take a stand and stop. He will always try to fight you back. So we just need to take advantage of any possible win that we have. Okay. So far, so good. Yes, I see. Yes. Okay. So, once again, while speaking about understanding the issue, question number one, why it's very important to understand the issue. So, to recruit allies, recruit allies means to gather allies, to understand your opponent, to win the arguments, to plan for your strategy and your uh, tactics. What do you need uh, to know? So what is uh, the sort of information that uh, you can work on or that you just need to know so that uh, it can help you in your campaign? Number one, how people made up uh, their minds about the issue, the public opinion why they feel about change. So if the factory is being held and after it will be held, what is going on? And uh, if it's not uh, going to be held, how will it be? So how they feel about the change? How the issue divides or links the community? Because we need to gather our allies. And we are speaking about a campaign that is harmful for the community. So how this problem, how this factory is uh, dividing or uh, how the harmful things are linked to the community. Also, how do you research for uh, your own issue? What are the main resources? What are the main sources that you can research from? We have libraries, of course. 
have the web and also we have expert assistance which is uh, likely to be the best because by having the ideas or the thoughts uh, of the expert people and bringing their own ideas to the public and their uh, own uh, uh, views and perspective of the issue to the public people you can gather more allies where can we gather information about the issue in our community for example so media archive what we mean by media archives are that of course while a factory being constructed this factory is not the first of its type so there are million factory all around the world that, that is having the same uh, opportunities or just providing the same thing consequently we can just go to the media archives and just have information about the same types of these factory and later we can provide the public opinion or the people about the harmful of that factory the city hall archives of course we do not have city hall archives but it's like a public library okay a public library in our community that provides us with information about every institution in the country we have also the business reports all of this can provide us with an idea or a background information about this uh, factory or about your opponent openly interview with the community leaders so the city mayor for example okay uh, if we have a city mayor uh, if we have uh, in the public office for the working okay the uh, working in public office okay you can go there and try to have a, a conversation and interviews with the, the people who are very uh, responsible for it and the government uh, so that we can tell them about the problem surveys asking uh, normal people go with your camera and your allies and just, uh, just walk into the street uh, and ask the people one by one. Uh, they are constructing a factory right now in Riyadh. This factory is poisoning us to our environment. Uh, what do you think shall we do? We need to stop it. Uh, are you with us or no? And make a survey and just bring the whole public opinion uh, to the people. And surveys can be online or even uh, face to face. Focus group. Focus groups are the people who are concerned with a certain goal or a certain idea. We have also the guided discussions. So far, so good. Any questions so far? No, teacher. Hello, TB. How are you doing? No, teacher. All right. That's a great, TB. I hope that you are great. All right. So, once again, we're speaking about a whole topic okay all of uh, these sessions shall be connected so if you just uh, fill out and you did not recognize any okay so once again campaign this uh, that uh, uh, yes, Mr. Ahmed, you can leave. Uh, okay, I can leave. Yes, Thank you. you Have a nice day. Okay. So, once again, we were speaking about how to launch an advocacy campaign and all the aspects around that campaign. Okay? Understanding the issue, the rightness of your cause, gathering allies, bringing the public opinion, setting the specific skills for your own. A campaign and also setting your own way and just planning for the small wins, etc. All of that is to be likely and closely connected. Okay. Okay. Any questions so far? No. Okay, you may start with your second session. Good morning, so, yeah, see you next session in approximately 45 minutes. Bye. Yeah.